Let your guests enjoy walking around your house. Italtex is the perfect adhesive for any tile job. Easy to use, versatile, and most importantly, durable enough to handle any tile problem. Italtex Tile Adhesive. No need to refix. The master bedroom is a haven where life slows down and the chaos of the outside world melts away. With the rhythm it gives, Everyone, and I mean everyone, should think about having a calm master bedroom. But do you have any regrets about the blunders you made when designing that bedroom? Or perhaps it is why you are unable to rest. Go to the master suite. I take you through on how the master bedroom has to look like. Hello and welcome to the Area Code. With the commotion of the outside world, the tired me always runs to the master bedroom. It's the place where life calms down, but many people do not hurry to the master bedroom since a mere room was not transformed into a haven of peace. According to Paul Osul, the marketing manager of The Voice Mall, the interaction of good lighting and colored furniture must be considered. Okay, so now we are in the master bedroom. Yeah. And we're going to be having a conversation about interior design with regard to the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. So first of all, what are some factors that one has to keep in mind when starting the process of designing a master bedroom? Space. How do you play around with space? Mm -hmm. uh, you can see our master bedroom here. We got furniture and everything. Bear in mind that when you're waking up, say, to go and ease yourself and everything, you should not knock yourself down. Yeah. So spacing where you put the bed, where the head faces and everything is key, 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 key. Yes. Yes. Right. So furniture placement, definitely. Furniture placement mm -hmm. is number one. What else? Number two, you go thin colors. Yes. Thin colors. Mm -hmm. Thin colors. Think lighting, everything about the master bedroom. Master bedroom is for the master. Mm -hmm. The master toys around. Yes. The master comes back home. Master is tired. Master needs everything that is going to hmm, calm, them calm them down, you know, to a night beautiful bliss. So everything from color to the car to, to the lighting, to the curtains, to the furniture, where the bed is facing. Mm -hmm. All very important. Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you mentioned um, quite a number of elements: the color, yes. the lighting, um, the, the placement, and all of that stuff. Yes. What right. are What are some of like the colors that people should lean towards when they decide to when they start, you know, decorating their master bedroom? What colors are best? Colors. What colors are best? Again, it goes to choice. Yes. Uh, it goes to where, uh, which part of the world you came from. But you normal colors are the ones that you know. The, the beige, the gray, mm. the white, yeah. the cream white, the soft white, things that can, you know, once, once there's a reflection, it is going to make the room expansive. The room is going to look big. Yeah, yeah you got to think that. Yeah. Otherwise, if you put things like black, and I've seen all sorts of one wall has the other color, the other wall has the other color, it just doesn't match up for me. Mm. Right. Yeah, but again, it's personal preference. And I like that you mentioned uh, personal preference. Yes. Because in as much as there are some staples, like for example, there are colors that are coming, there's lighting that is coming, and that sort of thing, which you want, which are elements you want in a master bedroom. Yes, ma'am. How does one then personalize to make it their own space, but still while incorporating the basics? 
Uh, you, you, you know, we're living in a world where if you can do something, there are all sorts of, uh, you know, consultants out there. And Google is your friend. Mm -hmm. I would say, try to look around, ask around. If you can do, come to Paul. Paul will definitely get you going color-wise, curtain-wise, lighting-wise, mm -hmm. and your bed where the head faces. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about lighting. What are some ways that I could incorporate lighting to the master bedroom decor? Nowadays, we have lights that you can just <laughs> clap yes. and they are lights on, lights off. But you master bedroom should not have, you know, bright lights. Unless if you're a person that sort of what? Studies in the, in, the, in the bedroom. For me, the bedroom is a place to sleep and the lighting is got to be conducive enough to, to set for me the atmosphere to rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are some mm -hmm. additional elements that someone can add into their space to make it more comforting for example you know if i want plants or if i want to play around with mirrors what are some additional elements that one can add the additional elements of course from you are walking if you if you have a space a good space enough for you walk in wardrobes uh the bathroom definitely it's got to be spacious enough how do you play around with it with the master tab where do you put it uh the mirrors you mentioned the mirrors all that is key there are people who want to see themselves when sleeping <laughs> i don't know how that works yeah. so everything that it should be accessible i wake up i know my mirror is there the walk-in closet is there the master uh, bathroom is there my uh, tv like here we have a tv is right there and everything gets me in the mood right yeah what are some architectural um choices that can be made when like, should i say in the construction phase to give the master bedroom like that extra X factor? Architecture, when we talk of architecture, what comes to my mind is window. What is the size of your window? Yes. How much light is your window letting in? Uh, when it is blowing, when it is raining, is the rain coming in through the window? Where does the rain blow to and all that? You got to think of that curtaining how big are my curtains how big are my nets you got to think of that right. and if you get that correct i tell you you have one beautiful master bedroom martha tumuhaire creative director at planet design says the gentle glow of a bedside lamp casting warm tendrils across the room creates pockets of coziness that invite rest and reflection lighting plays a very vital role so one thing to consider with that facial light would be the dimmers. For the dimmers, it's uh, one main light source. So you just reduce the brightness or you reduce the dimness. If you want to create a cozy space, you work with the lighting. If you want to create a bright, airy space, you also work with the lighting. When it comes to that fish, the natural light, we normally have you either face your windows where the night light is, natural light is coming from, if you want a bright, airy feel, or we seclude it a bit if you want something a bit more um, cozy. Also coming to personal preference as well. You have to see that uh, the lighting also caters for your dressing, and that's where the dimmers come in. You make it brighter or lower. Yes. And then also don't congest your bedroom so much. Um, You'd pre we prefer space, because it's a sanctuary, it's a space of rest, it shouldn't be having a lot of clutter. So you declutter as much as possible and create storage solutions so that all the clutter is tucked away and you have a, a nice flow in your space. Yes. The importance of well-chosen lighting is not merely utilitarian, but transcendent, for it shapes the ambience, accentuates colors, and sets the mood. Let's go for a commercial break, but when I return, what are the options when it comes to storage in the bedroom and the role of well-chosen furniture?
let your guests enjoy walking around your house. Italtex is the perfect adhesive for any tile job. Easy to use, versatile, and most importantly, durable enough to handle any tile problem. Italtex Tile Adhesive. No need to refix.